Hey guys, welcome back to part 10 of my 3D modeling tutorial for 3D Studio Max. Today I'm going to begin the detailing phase of my M4A1 assault rifle. So what that means is instead of focusing on really big objects and just kind of getting a rough idea of what we're building into the scene, we're going to be focusing on much smaller spaces and um, just create like really fine details here and there um, and we're also going to be cleaning up a lot of um, geometry on the way so I'm going to focus on my upper receiver or upper and lower receiver and uh, specifically right now on the uh, trigger housing area so I'm going to pull up my reference and I'll show you um, the um, trigger housing that we built is actually one solid piece with the, um, the lower receiver so what I have to do is just morph the two objects together and in order to do that we have to kind of clean up the geometry a little bit and create some more geometry um, to uh, bring those two together okay so first things first I'm gonna be deleting a few faces here okay yeah it's right around what I needed I'm going to copy some values here, or actually this one. Okay. I'm going to ring that. There we go. So I should get a selection all the way around the side of my rifle piece here. Okay. Actually, loop. I'm going to turn on the edge constraints here for a second. Oops. And uh, I'll make sure that that value is copied. There we go. Okay. I guess I, I'll do the same thing over here just to make it look even, uh, since it's going to bother me now. There we go. Okay. Those vertex points should be welded together now. All right. And now I'm going to create the extra geometry that we need. Connect. Flatten that out a little. Actually. And uh, now I'm just going to even some of these areas out real quick. Oops. I did a little too much. Okay. And here I need four um, line segments. So one thing I want to mention is the importance of um, trying to keep everything in quads now. Um, I know before we didn't really focus too much on that. You want to get rid of the um, n-gons and triangles as much as you can. It's okay if you have a triangle here and there, but anything more than a four-sided face is going to cause you nothing but trouble. So I would suggest just stay away from that kind of uh, um, messy geometry. And that's really all going to come in handy for us when we start with the um, the high poly modeling because we're going to be using a smoothing modifier and um, 
selecting all the edge loops and rings is going to be vital in creating um, a, f a very efficient um, high poly model and um, it, it's just going to save you a lot of pain. I would really suggest to keep the geometry clean. I cannot stress that enough. Um, Okay, so now I can start bridging these pieces together a little. Oops, and one thing I forgot. and an easier way to select all of these is just select the outline now and bridge those lines together there we go all right copy the width of that actually even easier we could have just bridged them I guess I'm not thinking straight okay Maybe I should have selected all of that. There we go. Okay. I guess I took a little more time than I wanted it to, but um, now we have the um, the trigger housing in the same area, and um, later we're just gonna, I guess, on our own time, just uh, worry about the smoothing groups, and um, I guess right now I just want to create the uh, forward assist um, since it's really quick and easy. So let's just jump right into the side view, create an 18-sided cylinder. Convert it to an editable poly. Okay. I really want to have a long piece. We're going to be um, actually turning this into, um, or um, actually rotating this a little bit, so it's going to be merging in. You won't be seeing the entire cylinder or length of it. Um, so let's start connecting these pieces. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm going to create one more cylinder. Eh. Actually, I'm going to start that over again. Create a cylinder. Five, there we go. Oops, left. And then I'm going to move this into position here. Okay.
There we go. And now I'll delete this portion again. And now I'll create a cylinder. There we go. And this one's going to be about 3.5, I guess. Yeah, it should be good. Move this inward here. And just those two pieces right here, those vertex points I need to have connected, that's going to be important. Um, another thing is that I'm going to just weld this. segment here. Connect it. There we go. Now we have a solid piece. I will now select my actual forward assist piece, convert that to an editable poly, and I will inset that. Collapse it. Inset. Collapse. Okay. Connect it just once. Select those faces there. Um, we'll extrude it by normal poly or local norm. Um, we'll bring that up by one. Okay. Now I'll select that edge right here. And just drag that over. Yeah. Now I'll unhide. Okay. So now I'm just going to attach that. Bring this in a little further. And there we go. Now we're ready to uh, rotate this into position. Well, almost. Okay. And you want to make sure you have your angle snaps on there, or at least I did. Um, it's going to help me out a lot. Okay. And now I'm just going to select the uh, vertex that we have down here. Just bring that in. And now I'll bring the... Uh, forward assist out a little more. And I'm going to have to rotate that a little more. Actually, one thing I messed up here is I'm going to rotate this one more time. And now I'm going to turn on the edge constraint. Select my uh, vertex point down here again. And if you want to switch to wireframe, just press F3. And now I'm going to move this in. Okay, and I'm just going to name this the forward assist. Oops. There we go. Give it some color. 
and um, later on we're going to attach that to the actual receiver but since we still have the symmetry modifier working I don't want it to pop up over here so right now this is this will uh, serve its place um, I'm going to leave the tutorial off at that for right now and um, we'll get back with um, widening the uh, mag housing area and um, just finishing off closing our um, our object here so I'll see you guys in back for the next tutorial then and uh, just don't forget to save first I'll unhide everything here alright save